week nating mundo di natin inakalang magkaganito bigla na lang nagkagulo ang ang bulkan ay magalboroto ang tanhana tila nananadya bigla ang pagdating nito Pandemya Maraming Bagay ang nagbago Matutuloy pa kaya Ang Pasko Huwag Huwag kang mangamba Lahat ay kakayan Basta't nagkakaisa Ibayan ang loob sa Diyos ay magkasal Pagdurusa natin Di na magtatagal Tayo'y aahon Tayo'y kabangon Pandemya lang ito Pilipino'y ata tayo Tuloy ang Pasko Good evening po sa lahat ng mga taga-subaybay ng Itulay at pasesyo na inabot tayo ng gabi dahil ang haba po talaga ng discussion kapag tinukoy natin ang math. So with all of our learners who are currently watching, the grade 6 learners, wag po kayong mag-alala dahil nandito na po ang inyong online tutor. Ako si Tutor Mark. Nagabay, gagabayan kayo sa pagsagot at matutunan ninyo yung aralin tungkol sa paksaan ng percentage, rate, and days. So sa mga magulang na nanonood po ngayon, maaari pong panoorin at para masubaybayan ninyo ang inyo kung paano po sinusob at yung teknik na nakapalog, paano madedetermine kung ito ba ay para sa percent, percentage, rate, o base. So ako po ay gagamit ulit ng whiteboard dahil kinakailangan po na Magsulat ako for solutions so, sa mga bata. Make sure na hawak po ninyo ang inyong self-learning module. Meron kayong ball pen at meron kayong 
uh, scratch paper o papel. Kaya sa mga manonood po, gaya ni Jehar Sendad, ayan, good evening po sa mga tagasubaybay po namin. Magandang, magandang gabi po. Good evening po na. Good evening na. Ayan, so let's begin. Okay, so sa mga manonood po natin, ang ating pong tinatalakay ngayon ay ang weekly lesson ng grade 6. Ginagamit po natin yung Calabarzon Pivot Module at ito ang lesson tungkol po sa percentage, rate, at base. Pag tinukoy po natin itong lesson na ito, importante na alam natin yung formula na ginagamit. Uulitin ko, importante alam natin yung formula na ginagamit at makakatulong po yung triangle na ito. Okay? So, yung triangle na ito, mga bata, tatandaan natin na pwede natin hatiin yan ng ganito. Lagyan natin na parang letter P sa loob. Ayan. Tapos, sa ibabaw, lalagay nyo lang yung P, sa gilid yung R, at sa gilid yung B. So, we have P, R, and B. Ibig sabihin niyan kaya importante ito, dahil itong block na ito ay magbibigay sa atin ng clue kung ano ang ating sinasolve. So, for example, simulan natin na paano kapag hinahanap natin ang percentage. Yung percentage po, mag-ano muna ako, pipinta. Ang percentage ay may formula. So, hinahanap mo yung P, at kapag hinahanap mo yung P, ang makakatulong sa iyo ay yung R mo o yung rate, at saka yung base mo. At makikita yun dito sa ating diagram or illustration. Pag hinahanap mo yung P, yung R at B na magkatabi, ang kailangan mo at imumultiply mo yun. Nakuha? Ganun po ang gamit nun. Kapag hinahanap mo naman halimbawa ay yung R o yung rate, kukopya mo yung R, lagyan mo ng equals, at i-imagine mo Kung ano ang natira, P nasa taas at B nasa baba. Ang P ay nasa taas at ang B ay nasa baba. At yan ang kanyang formula. Meaning, i-divide niya. Kapag hinahanap ang rate. Kapag hinahanap naman natin ang base, tatakpan nyo lang yung B at makikita niyo yung natitira. So, pag hinahanap ang base, that's B, Ang matitira ay ang P sa taas at ang R sa baba. P sa taas at R sa baba. Kaya, yan po yung paraan kung paano natin makukuha yung formula ng percentage, rate, at ng base. Gamit po itong diagram or illustration na ito. Again, kapag hinahanap mo yung P, takpan mo yung P. Anong natira? Magkatabing R at B. Pag hinanap mo yung R, takpan mo yung R, ang matitira, yung P at B na nasa taas at ibaba niya. Kaya, R equals P over B. Ganon din kapag base, takpan mo yung B, ang matitira ay ang P at ang R. Kaya, P divided by R. So, ito po ang pinaka-basic niyan. Kinakailangan ay memorize ang formula para masolve natin ito. Now, you have some exercises dito po sa inyong self-learning module at hindi ko i-spoon feed. Ang gagawin ko po ay, sasagutan ko lang ang add numbers. Uulitin ko ha, add numbers. So, ang gagawin niyo mga bata, kayo mag-solve ng even numbers. Okay? Pero i-guide ko kayo. Turn your module on page 15. Doon tayo sa learning task number 1. Again, page 15. Learning task Number one tayo. We are going to have first all the add numbers. Yun ang aking isosolve. At kayo naman, assign ninyo, syempre sagutan ninyo yung even numbers. Okay? So, si Tutor Mark, sisimulan ko ituturo. Number one. The question says, Makikita nyo dito, what is 20% of 160? What is? Clue. 
kapag hinahanap natin yung is na yan, what is 20% of 160, automatic, matutukoy natin kagad ang hinahanap. Bakit? Yung 20%, basta makita mo yung percent sign, that is your rate. Get it? Pag nakakita ka ng percent symbol, that's your rate. Automatic yan ang R mo. Lagi sa utak mga bata, pag merong percent, R yun. Next, kapag nakita mong off, ang kahulugan niyan ay B. Pag nakita mo yung off, ibig sabihin niyan, yan yung base mo. Therefore, ano ang nawawala sa PRB? Correct. Ang nawawala ay ang percentage. Kaya ang formula natin, P equals R times B. And get what is R, get what is B. Ang rate ay 20% times what's the base? 160. Ganun lang po isasulat. Next, you cannot multiply it kung naka-percent siya. Kinakailangan i-move mo siya going to the left twice yung kanyang movement. So, kung meron kang 20%, ang movement niya ay ganito. From here, 1, 2. At ang magiging sagot niya ay 0.2. Yun ang pagko-convert from percent to a decimal number. Again, paano ko siya ginagawa? Kung meron kang 50%, lagay mo dito sa dulo yung, yung pen mo, tapos igalaw mo ng twice, going to the left, 1, 2, at yan ang decimal point. Ganun natin siya makukuha. Therefore, if we have 20%, that is 0.2. Bakit? Yung movement niya na dalawang beses going to the left, 1, 2, kaya siya naging 0.2. So, tandaan, ganun ang i-convert natin. Then, multiply it with 160. After that, you can now multiply 0.2 times 160. So, i-multiply lang natin. 2 times 0, 0. 2 times 6, 12. Carry 1. 2 times 1, 2. Plus 1, 3. Tapos yung 0, i-multiply pa natin. 0 times 0, 0. 0 times 6, 0. 0 times 1, 0. And add them. 0, 2, 3, and 0. Count the number of decimals. 1, 1. So, ibig sabihin niyan, ang kanyang magiging sagot ay 32 lang. Bakit 32? Hi, I'm back. Na-disconnect kami sa internet. Sorry po. Ayan. Ako po ay nagbabalik. So, balikan po natin yung aking itinuro. So, I, yeah, nasa labas po ako ng camera. Yung pinapakita ko po dito. Ayan. Okay na yan. Thank you. Ayan. So, yung pinapakita ko. Salamat sa director. Ayan, live kasi kami. Ayan, yung pinapakita po nito na sa ating pagmumultiply, kinakailangan naka-arrange pa rin siya by decimals. Ayan. 
At ang lumabas sa sagot natin ay 0, 3, 2, point, and 0. So yung 0 pwede na i-cancel at ito magiging 32. Kaya yun ang ating sagot. Okay? Maliwanag ba mga bata? Ibig sabihin nun, ganun lang kasimple kung paano natin isasolve yung paghahanap ng percentage. Tandaan, ang R o ang rate ay yung may percent sign. At pag nakita nyo yung salitang off, yan yung base. Automatic yun. Kaya ibababa lang at ganyan siya isasolve. Now, kung nakita nyo kanina yung 20%, hindi kayo makakapag-multiply ng percent sa isang whole number. I-change yun ninyo o papalitan ang percent na maging isang decimal number. So, ang movement niyan ay dalawang movement papuntang left. So, 1, 2, gaya na pinakita ko kanina. 1, 2, kaya 0 0.2 and then proceed to multiplication. Nakuha ba mga bata? Ganun lamang yun, kasimple. Ngayon, sasabihin niyo Sir Mark, pwede pa ba bang isang example? Sure. Ibibigay ko ang example number 3 para mahasa kayo. But again, I want you to hold your paper and pen and solve with me para po makapractice kayo. Okay? Iris ko muna itong kamila. Thank you. So, habang ine-iris ni Sir Wilbur yung kabila, I am going to solve number 3 kasi sabi ko nga, all odd numbers ang aking isasolve muna. Sa inyo, yung even numbers. Okay? At tatandaan natin yung formula kasi yung formula ang makakatulong sa atin para malaman natin kung paano siya isasolve. Okay? So, Dito tayo sa number 3. Tignan niyo yung number 3. 15% of 80 is blank. Naalala niyo yung binanggit ko kanina? Pag merong percent symbol, yan ang R. Pag nakita niyo yung off, yung katabi ng off, yan yung base. At pag nakita niyo yung salitang is, ang hinahanap niyan ay yung percentage. Is blank. Hinahanap ko, percentage. Ganun ang clue. So, P equals R times B. Next step. Ang susunod yung gagawin, ilagay lamang kung ano ang R, which is 15%, times 80. After that, Change 15% to a decimal number. 15%. Move it to the left. 1, 2. Lagay dito ang decimal point. So we have 0 0.15. Yan ang katumbas ng 15%. So 0 0.15 times 80. Now, we can multiply it. Let's multiply. 0 0.15 times 80. 0 times 5, 0. 0 times 1, 0. 0 times 0, 0. 8 times 5, 40. 34. 8 times 1, 8. Plus 4, 12. Let's put 12. Then, let's add it. 0. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 2, 2. And then 1. Let's count the number of decimal places. So, kinakailangan, pagkatapos nito, tinitignan natin yung decimal point. 1, 2, 2 places. 1, 2, at ito ang kanyang decimal point. Therefore, our answer for number 3 is 12. Is it easy? Yes, it is. Ganun lamang po, kasimple. Nakita ninyo kung paano ko sinod ang number 1 at kung paano ko sinod ang number 5. Ah, sorry, number 3. At Nakita po ninyo na simple-simple lamang basta alam natin kung ano ang rate at ano ang base. Nakuha mga bata, importante na binibilang natin yung decimal place para mailagay natin ang tama ang sagot. Sir Mark, ni technique ba pag hinanap natin ang percentage? Yes, there is a special technique that we can use in solving for the percentage. However, these techniques requires constant practice para hindi ka magkakamali. At kung handa na kayo sa teknik na yon, ituturo ko sa inyo. So, erase ko lang itong gitna. Ah. There is one special technique in solving percentage. So, if you would like to know about it, 
ganito po siya isinasolve. Pero sabi ko nga, ano man ang solution sa mathematics, ang importante ay we arrive with the correct answer at alam natin ang proseso. So this is the technique. Let's have first the 20% of 60. Of 160, I mean. Ang sagot natin kanina dito ay 32. Pag itong ginawa natin, simple lamang po ang inyong gagawin. You drop the zero. Again, you drop the zero. Drop it, drop it. You now have 2 and 16. 2 times 16, it's 32. Do we have the correct answer? That's how to solve it. Again, that's the technique. You need to drop something. At pag binrap ninyo at yun natira, i-multiply, and you'll get the correct answer. Hindi ako nagdaan sa mga proseso. So those learners who are currently watching, you can try out that technique. Again, that's the simplest way how to do it. Pero, eto ang long cut na itinuro ko. Pag na-master nyo na to, then maybe you can try out this one. Cancel it. The remaining 2 and 16. Multiply, you get 32. You get the same correct answer. Okay? Nakuha po ba yun? E paano kung, Sir Mark, paano po kung yung digit na ganito yung nasa kabila? Pwede ba natin gawin yun? My answer is, yes, of course. We can also do the same thing. Ang gagawin mo lamang ay multiply po ito. So, kung kanina ay nag-drop ako ng zero, ngayon, tignan nyo ang aking gagawin. Let's have 15 and 8 only. Okay? 15 and 18. Kapag i-multiply natin yan, 15, and then we have 80. Teka lang ha. It is good. So kapag minultiply natin, long cut yun Tignan nyo muna, pag nilong cut ko 0, 0, 0, 4, 88, 9, 10, 11, 12 12 Ang lalabas dyan, di ba? 1,200 oh. Ngayon Lagi nung tatandaan kasi na dapat cancel out natin ang two places niya dahil ang percentage ay may movement na two places to the left. 1, 2, 12. Diba? Pareho lang. Nakuha? Or you could also have something na kinakailangan makita ninyo yung mismong number kung pareho ba siyang pwedeng i-drop ng zero o kagaya nito na i-multiply at susundan ng movement to the left. Again, these are just the technique, pero ang importante ay makuha natin kung paano ang long cut version niya. So, tinuro ko sa number 1 at number 3 ang long cut version at pinakita ko naman sa inyo ang shortcut version ng 1 at 3. Okay? Now, we can move on to number 5. Sir Wilbur. So, sa mga nakakita po, pwede niyo pong ulitin at i-review yung episode na to para makita yung shortcut method. Again, it requires mastery to do it. But if you have mastered it, ang dali lang mag-solve. So kung kayo ay lalaban sa pabilisan na mag-solve, pwede yun. Pero yung sa school lang, usual na sa, na sa loob ng classroom, long cut will do. Ayan. Pero kung, gaya yun nga, nasabi ko, kung lalaban kayo sa competition, kung kailangan pabilisan mag-solve, yun ang isang technique na pwedeng gamitin. Okay? Now, let's move to the next item. Ang saya ng mat, di ba? Let's have number 5. Kasi nga, sabi ko, lahat muna ng odd numbers. What is 30% of 20? Now, let's go back here. What is 30% of 20? Balikan natin. May percent. Sir Mark, are yon. Very good. May off. Sir Mark, B yun. Ano nawawala? Correct. Percentage. So let's have P equals R times B. Let's have the long cut. Long cut muna, okay? Let's have 30% times 20. Anong ginagawa sa percent? Sir Mark, ginagawang decimal. O gawin natin decimal ang 30%. 30%. Let's move it. 1, 2. Anong sagot? 0. 3. 
So let's have it here. 0 0.3 times 20. Let's multiply. 0 0.3 times 20. 3 times 0? Zero. 0. 0 times 0? Zero? 0. 2 times 3? 6. 2 times 0? Zero? 0. Let's add. 0, 6, and 0. How many decimal places? 1. 1. What's the answer? It's 6. Now, let's have the shortcut method. O, ito yung long cut. Shortcut. 30% and 20. Cancel the 0. 2 times 3, 6. Do we arrive with the correct answer? Yes. Clear? Long cut? Shortcut. Nasa sa inyo kung ano gusto nyo gawin. But again, you need to master where you need to arrive with the correct answer. Okay? That's number five. Let's move on to number seven. Number seven. 65% of 100 is blank. Okay. Let's move to number seven. Sabi ko kanina, pag may percentage, ano yun? Ah, sorry, may percent symbol. Yan ay ang R. Pag merong O, yan ang B. Anong nawawala? Correct. Percentage. So, P equals R times B. After that, put 65%. Multiplied by 100. Then, sabi ko nga kanina, 65%, change it into a decimal. So, naging natin dito, 65%. 1, 2, ang sagot, 0 0.65. Let's put it here. Times 100. After that, let's multiply. 0 0.65 times 100. Let's solve. 0 times 5, 0. 0 times 6, 0. 0 times 0, 0. Alignment. 0 times 5, 0. 0 times 6, 0. 0 times 0, 0. Look at the alignment. 1 times 5, 5. 1 times 6, 6. 1 times 0, 0. Now, let's add. Bring down 0. Bring down 0. Bring down 5. Bring down 6 and 0. Let's count the number of decimals. 1, 2, 1, 2. Therefore, our answer is 65. Clear? Andali lang, di ba? Oh, now, if we are going to move with the shortcut method, let's have it. Kung shortcut naman at ganito na walang 0 yung nasa unahan, let's have 65 multiplied by 100. Tignan niyo yung ginawa kong proseso, naka-extend yung 0. Again, for shortcut only, bring down 0, 0. 1 times 5, 5. 1 times 6, 6. How many decimal places pag percent? Dalawa. 1, 2, then we get 65. The same. Parehong format, pero yun ang proseso niya. You know na have the long cut and the short cut. Clear? Now, let's move on. To item numbers 9 and number 10 for the ad numbers. Thank you. So sa mga nanonood, pwede niyo pong ulitin at i-review yung aking ipinakita para masolve o makita yung long version at yung shortcut version kung paano siya sinosolve. Now we have numbers... Ah, sorry. Number 9 na lang pala. Kasi add numbers lang. So, kayo na bahala mag-solve no? even numbers. Ang importante ay nakuha niyo yung proseso o yung technique. Remember, pag nakita niyo yung person symbol, that's the rate. Pag nakita niyo yung off, yan yung days. Okay? Number 9 na tayo. What is 25%, ah, sorry, 125% of 100? Look at this. Percent symbol, that's your rate. May salitang off, that's your base. Still, the one which is missing is the percentage. P equals R times B. 
substitute R, that's 125%, multiplied by 100. Let's change 125% to a decimal number. Okay? Palitan natin. 125%, palitan natin siya ng maging decimal number. So, imumove natin ang two decimal places to the left. 1, 2, so magiging 1.25 siya. Again, yung 125% pag naging decimal ay magiging 1.25 na lang. Kasi 1, 2. Nakuha mga bata? At yun ang ilalagay natin. 1.25 times 100. Now, let's multiply 1.25 and 100. 1.25 times 100. 0 times 5? 0. 0 times 2? 0. 0 times 1? 0. 0 times 5? 0. 0 times 2? 0. 0 times 1? 0. Puro 0. 1 times 5? 5. 1 times 2? 2. 1 times 1? 1. Then, let's add it. Bring down 0. Bring down 0. 0 plus 0 plus 5, that's 5. 0 plus 2, that's 2. And bring down 1. Let's count the number of decimals. 1, 2. Dalawang decimal place. Kaya, yung dulo po niya, dalawang decimal place din po. 1, 2. At dun natin ilalagay yung period. Kaya, ang magiging sagot natin ay 125. Let's double check it. Okay? So, I hope nakasunod po. Dahil po ang kanyang percent sim, yung dito po sa dulo, may dalawa siyang decimal place. So, i-move natin ng 1, 2. Kaya po naging 125 siya. Okay? So, Mark, pwede bang shortcut dyan? O, eto. Pag ginawa natin yung shortcut, let's multiply 125 times 100. Ganito po kasi ginagawa ko pag may zero. I'll drop, I'll drop, then 5, 2, 1. Count the number of places, 2. 1, 2, 125. Di ba pareho lang? So, ganun po yung long technique at short technique. Pinakita ko po kung paano isolve ang odd numbers from numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Now, for the even numbers, that's your task. That's your assignment. Yan ang paraan paano isolve ang percentage. Tandaan kung paano matutukoy. Pag may percent symbol, that's your rate. Pag may salitang off, that's your base. Okay? Let's move on to the next part. Abura po. So, I want you to open your self-learning module on page 16. Page 16 na tayo. Learning task number 2. And this time, we are going to look for the base. At ipapakita ko Paano natutukoy na base naman ang hinahanap? Kasi kanina, alam natin na percentage ang hinahanap natin. Kasi nga may clue tayo, di ba? Tinuro ko. Ituturo ko ulit ang clue kung paano natin malalaman kung base naman ang ating hinahanap. Okay? Again, I'll solve the odd numbers. Number one. 50 is 8% of what number? Kinakailangan ay observant kayo sa question. 50 is 8% of what number? First step, look at the digit. 8%, that's your rate. Of what number? That's your base. But do we have a number for our base? Wala. Kaya siya ay question mark. Base ang hinahanap mo ngayon. Therefore, eto ang inyong percentage. Clear? Tandaan. Tandaan ang of, yan ay base. At ang of what number, hinahanap niya anong number yun, hindi ko alam, kaya question mark. At yung isa naman, obvious, siya naman yung magiging percentage. Therefore, if we are looking for B, refer here. Close that B. Magiging P over R. Therefore, our formula is B equals P divided by R. Is that clear? 
Bakit ganon? Eh, yung P nga nasa taas, yun ang formula na pag tinakpan natin. P divided by R. Okay? Now, palitan natin yung P, that's 50. Palitan natin yung R, and that is 8%. Therefore, we have now 50 divided by 8%. Kung kanina, hindi tayo makapag-multiply kapag may percent, ganun din dito. Therefore, 8% should be moved and be changed as a decimal number. 8%. Let's move it. 1, 2. Lagyan ng 0. Lagyan ng point. Therefore, having it, mawawala to, we have 0 0.08 or 8 hundreds. Yan ang katumbas ng 8%. Bakit? Let's move it. 1, 2. Pag nagdagdag ng 0, ito ang kakalabasan. That's why this is the answer. So, we have now 50 divided by 0 0.08. If we have this digit now, then we need to do long division. Magdi-divide tayo ngayon. 0 0.08. Ang rule natin sa division ay, let's move the decimal place kung ilan ito. Ilan? Dalawa. One, two. Kung dalawa yon mga bata, yung decimal place din ito ay gagalawin natin ng dalawa. One, two. Nakasunod ba? Iginalaw natin ang decimal point, gagalawin din natin dito sa kabila. And we add two zeros to the empty spot. Therefore, our digit now na i-divide ay magiging eight. Dahil ginalaw na natin, at dito naman ay magiging 5,000 na. Sir Mark, ba't siya naging 5,000? Eh kasi nga nag-move ka na nga ng 2 decimal. Pag nagalaw ka sa kabila, galawin mo rin yung kabila. Ginala mo ng dalawa, galawin mo rin ang dalawa. Kaya ganun yun. Now, we can divide it. 5,000 divided by 8. Let's have it. 8, dito muna. First two digits. We'll have... Correct. 6. Because 50 divided by 8. Hindi kasi pwede yung 5. 5 divided by 8, hindi kaya. Kaya dagdaga mo na isa pa. 50 divided by 8 is 6. 6 times 8, 48. 50 minus 48? Correct. That's 2. Bring down 0. Now, 20 divided by 8. Correct. That's 2. 2 times 8 is 16. Next. Ang susunod natin gagawin ay isubtract natin ito. 20 minus 16 will get 4. Bring down 0. That's 40. 40 divided by 8. That's 5. So we get 40. Therefore, if we are looking at the answer here in this question, 50%, ah, sorry, 50 is 8% of what number? This what number or our base is 625. And that is our answer. That is our base. Nakuha ba mga bata? Huwag malilito. Dahil dito sa process na ito, kinakailangan natin ng movement ng decimal point pag nag-divide tayo. And this is our answer for number one. I hope nakakasunod. Now, let's move on with item number three. So, buburay muna ni Sir Wilbur. So, in item number three, medyo madali dito. At I'm sure nagsasabi sa, mag, may mga nagtatanong, Sir Mark, may technique po ba to? Wala siyang technique eh. Long cut talaga yan. <laughs> okay? Ang kinakailangan dito, magaling kang mag-divide at magaling kang mag-move ng decimal plates. Okay? Ready? Let's have item number 3. 12 is 4% of what number? Yan. Nakikita ba? Parang basa. Nasa na kumula. Okay. So, 
Kiki, re-rank ko lang po. So the digit is, or the question is, 12 is 4% of what number? Sa mga magulang na nanonood, tinuturo ko po yung technique paano natin malalaman ano ang nawawala. Let's focus again. Can you see the percent symbol? Yes. Anong tawag doon? Rate po. Very good. Can you see the word of? Yes po. Then, that's your base. May number ba ang base mo? Wala po. Then, yan ang hinahanap mo. Anong natitira? Sir Mark, yan po yung P o percentage. Tama. Ano ang formula kapag hinahanap ang B? B is equals to P divided by R. Let's now substitute. 12 divided by 4%. Sir Mark, anong gagawin natin sa 4%? Papalitan natin na magiging decimal number. Let's move 4% to the left. 1, 2, kaya magiging 0. 04. Let's put it here. 12 divided by 0 0.04. Now, let's divide. 12 divided by 0 0.04. How many decimal places towards to the right? Dalawa. 1, 2. Therefore, yung 12 ay meron ding dalawa. 1, 2. Add zeros. Now, we have the new digit, 4, divided by 1,200. 1 cannot divide 4, therefore we use 12. 12 divided by 4 will give us 3. 3 times 4, that's 12. 12 minus 12, 0. 0 divided by 4, 0. 0 divided by 4, that's zero. Therefore, our answer here is 300. Okay? So to our dear learners, make sure that you are copying the correct answer. In number three, our answer is 300. Okay? At ito yung proseso na. At binagit ko nga po, wala po siyang shortcut. So kung yung hinihintay niyo yung shortcut na tinuro ko, Walang shortcut pag tinuro po ito ngayon. Mag-long cut po kayo at kinakailangan mag-movement po kayo ng inyong item here. Okay? Nakuha po ba? Is that clear? Okay. Kung nakuha na po, then let's move on to item number 5. Thank you. Long cut talaga siya. Hindi nyo pwede siyang i-shortcut. Talagang magmamano-mano kayo. Well, hindi siya kagayo kanina ng automatic-automatic. Walang ganun. So, i-master dito yung pag-move natin ng decimal place. Okay? Let's have now number 5. In number 5, we have 7. Is 70% of what number? Again, let's identify. So let's watching. Ganito po ang tika. Mag-guide niyo anak niyo. Pag nakita ang percent sign, that is correct. The rate, R. Pag nakita ang off, yan ang tinutukoy natin na base. May base ba? Wala. Kasi sabi niya, what number? And the remaining is your P. We are looking again for the base. So our formula B is equal to P divided by R. Substitute 7 for P and 70% for the R. We cannot divide it using the percent. Therefore, convert it into a decimal number. 70%, let's move two decimal places towards to the left. 1, 2. Therefore, we have 0 0.7. 7. Divided by 0 0.7. Then, let's do the method. Move the decimal place towards to the right. One. Ilan? One lang. Therefore, move one place also. And then, 
put the zero to the empty spot. Our new digit is 7 divided by 70. Let's divide. 7 divided by 7, 1. 1 times 7, 7. 0 divided by 7, 0. Therefore, our answer is 10. Our answer for number 5 is 10. O, di ba? Dali lang. Okay? Nakakasunod po? Tandaan ang technique. Huwag na huwag kakalimutan kapag nagkakaroon tayo ng movement. Dahil dito commonly na nagkakamali ang mga bata. So, mga learners, makinig mabuti, huwag kayong titigil dito sa 70%. I-convert nyo pa siya into a decimal at pag na-convert ninyo, i-divide ninyo ng maayos by moving the decimal place kung ilan man yan, kung dalawa dito sa left side, dalawa rin siya dito. Pag isa doon, isa rin doon. Okay? Balance dapat. Thank you. Let's move on to the next item, number 7 and number 9. Ayan, malaki tayong matapos. So sa mga nanonood po ngayon, thank you. At sana ay magamit po ninyo ang aking isineshare. At sasagutan naman ninyo ang other items. Okay? Para hindi tayo spoon feeding. But, nakikita po rin yung process. Please follow that para magkaroon kayo ng maayos na solution. Let's have number 7. 8 is 20% of what number? Again, let's go. Percent symbol, ano to? R. That's your rate. Of. Of what number? Ang clue na of, ang ibig sabihin nun? Magaling. Base. Meron ba tayong base? Wala. Kaya yan ang ating hinahanap. Therefore, the remaining one is our P. The percentage. Now, let's use the formula for the base. B is equals to P divided by R. Sir Mark, paano naging P divided by R? Tingnan nyo kasi doon sa taas. Pag tinakpan niyan, P over R. E over R. Yun ang ilalagay nyo. Okay? Next. P is 8. R is 20%. Again, we cannot divide the percent. Kinakailangan maging decimal. So, 20%. Moving it to a decimal number. 1, 2. We'll have 0 0.2 or 2 tenths. Right? So, we have 8 divided by 2 tenths. Now, let's do this. 8 divided by 2 tenths. Let's move the number of places. Decimal place, 1. Kasi isa lang eh. So, 1. And then we put the 0. The new number will be 2 divided by 80. 8 divided by 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 0 divided by 2, 0. Therefore, our final answer it's 40. Our base is 40. You see? Yes, of course. Now, we move on to number 9. Dito na ako sa kabila. Erase ko lang to. Yung number 9, medyo challenging. Pero huwag kayong magtataka. Madali lang yan. Kapag nakakita kayo ng fraction, okay lang yun. Huwag kayong matakot. Madali lang yun. Number 9. 75% of what number is one half? Okay? Look at this. Percent. That's your rate. Of what number? That's your base. May number ba? Wala. Is. Yung kulo natin kanina is 1 half. That's your percentage. Anong hinahanap natin? Still the base. B is equals to P divided by R. Clear? Now, sabi niya, paano gagawin dito, Sir Mark? Madali lang to. Tignan niyo itong gagawin ko. What's the P? 1 half. Put 1 half. Tignan, maigay ba mga bata? Divided by, ang haba. Bakit? Para hindi magmukhang fraction. Divided by, 75%. Equals to 
inaral natin noon na ang percent ay pwedeng maging decimal. Ang decimal ay pwedeng maging fraction. Babalikan lamang natin yun. Tignan ang aking gagawin dito. Okay? 75%. Kapag ginawa natin decimal, alam na alam na ninyo, 1 to 0.75. Tama? Hindi natin ito gagamitin. Bakit? Fraction yung nasa taas. Kapag fraction ang nakita nyo, fraction din ang gagamitin natin. Nakuha ba? Kaya, kung gagawin natin fraction format ang 75 o 0.75, yan ay mag-equal sa copy nyo lang ang 75, lagyan ang fraction bar, at kung ilan ang places nito, yan ang bilang ng 0 niya. And then put 1. Therefore, after putting this one, i-convert nyo yan sa 1 half divided by 75 Over 100. O, oh, di ba ang dali lang? Huwag kayong malilito. Ganun lang po ang proseso. Now, after having all of these things, kinakailangan ay ma lowest term natin siya o mapaliit natin yung numero. Okay? Tingnan ang aking gagawin. Naubusan ako ng space. <laughs> Teka lang ha. O, dito ako. Tingnan nyo po ah. Yung one half, Lowest term na yun, wala nang magagawa dyan. One half pa rin yun. Pero yung 75 at 100, both of them are divisible by 25. Therefore, 75 divided by 25, you'll get 3. 100 divided by 25, you'll get 4. So ano ang pinaliit ng number? 3 over 4. Get it? Now, let's focus on to this digit. Ililipat ko lang dito kasi wala na akong space. Uh, lilipat ko lang sa kabila, erase lang ko ito. Tandaan mga bata ay yung proseso. Kapag nagkaroon tayo ng fraction, gamitan nyo rin siya ng atumbas ng fraction. Huwag yung decimal number kasi ang mangyari, decimal yung magiging sagot nyo, napakahaba. So pwede nyo siyang gawin in fraction format. Now, I'll continue it. Here, paaro-aro lang, oh, parang nila sa classroom. I'll get this digit. One half divided by three over four. If you can still remember the lesson in fraction, ang ibig sabihin ng pag-divide na ito ay kinakilangan mo ang reciprocal. Ay, ano daw yun? O, tignan nyo ito. One over two divided by three over four. Di ba ganyan siya? Yung reciprocal, pinapalitan ang division ng multiplication at binabaliktad yung 3 fourths o yung number sa kasunod niya. 4 over 3. Then, you do the multiplication. 1 times 4, 4. 2 times 3, 6. Can we lowest term? Yes, because 4 and 6 are both divisible by 2. Yan ay 2 times 2, at ito ay 2 times 3. Cancel out, therefore, our final answer is 2 thirds. Clear? Nakasunod? <laughs> so, yan po ang sagot natin sa item number 9. 75% of what number is 1 half? Our answer is, that is 2 thirds. And that is our lesson for the base. I hope it's clear. Now, we move on to the last part. Okay? Pwede niyo pong ulit-ulitin para makita kung paano po siya sinog. Again, practice makes perfect. Now we move on to our learning class number three. Again, I'm going to solve only the odd numbers and have your initiative to answer the even numbers. Practice lang. Sabi ko nga, madali lang to. Okay? Pero yun nga, yung pagtukoy sa base, walang shortcut doon. Talaga mano-mano tayong magsasolve. Okay? Now, for learning task number three, number one. One is what percent of ten? Let's focus on this. One is what percent of ten? 
Let's look at it. Meron ka ba nakitang percent symbol? Wala po. Eh, yung dali lang, hinahanap mo yung R. Kasi wala yung percent symbol. Therefore, itong natitira, yung may off, that's your base. At itong one na to, that's your percentage. Ang hinahanap mo yung rate. Kasi nawawala yung percent symbol. Therefore, R divided, R is equals to P divided by B. Next, substitute, P is 1, B is 10. You divide 1 and 10. 1 divided by 10. 1 divided by 10, 0. Put the decimal place or decimal point. 10 divided by 10, 1. What's the answer? 0 0.1. But wait, we are talking about the rate. The rate has a percent symbol. Therefore, we need to move the decimal place twice going to the right side. Let's move. 1, 2. Ilan ang spot na natin tira? Isa. Put the 0. Therefore, our answer is 10%. Clear? Ang dali lang, no? So, ibig sabihin nun, ang gagawin nyo lamang kapag nakuha natin yung sagot, imove nyo lang siya ng twice sa gilid para maging 10%. Or, pwede mong i-multiply sa 100. Eh, kaso, mag-multiply ka ulit. Yun na nga yung technique, eh. Yun na lang mabilisan. Move mo lang siya. Going to the right. So, remember the practice. First step, indicate the formula. Next step, substitute the given items. And after dividing it, once you have the digit, move the decim decimal place twice towards to the right. At ang mangyayari yung bakante, lagyan ng zero and put the percent symbol. Number three. Ang dali lang, no? Five is what percent? Of 25. Let's have this one. 5 is what percent of 25? Anong nawawala? R. Automatic kasi walang percent eh. Therefore, this is your P. This is your B because it's after the word of. P. Divided by B. Substitute. 5 divided by 25. So, let's divide it. 5 divided by 25. 5 divided by 25, 0. It cannot be. Put the decimal point, add 0 as an extension. 50 divided by 25, that's 2. 2 times 25, that's 50. Therefore, our answer is 0 0.2. But wait, we are looking for the percent symbol. Therefore, move it twice to the left. Sorry, twice to the right. 1, 2. And the empty spot, put a zero. Therefore, our final answer is 20%. I hope you get it right with number three. Mga bata, ganun ang proseso. Pwede naman natin siyang i-move na lang. Kasi kapag minutipla natin sa 100, ganun din ang kalalabasan. At ilalagay lang ang percent symbol. So this is the answer for number one. And the answer for number three. If you want to repeat it, you can simply review this episode of this equally version ng percent rate, eh, uh, sorry, percentage rate and base. So, buburahin na po. We will now have numbers 5, 7, and number 9. Thank you. So, in number 5, we are still looking for the rate. Kaya... Hawak lang po ng paper and pen and listen attentively and follow the specific direction para po masolve natin ng tama. Number five. So sa mga magulang na nanonood, pwede rin po ninyo sabayan ng inyong anak. What percent of 20 is 15? Let's look at it. Meron bang percent symbol? Wala. Therefore, ang nawawala pa rin ay ang rate. Of, that means that is your base. 
is that is your percentage. Huwag mali nito sa percentage at sa percent. Okay? Now, the formula is P divided by B. Let's substitute. The P is 15. And the B is 20. Let's divide 15 and 20. 15 divided by 20. 15 divided by 20, 0. Hindi na kaya. Put a decimal. Let's add 0. 150 divided by 20, that's 7. 7 times 20, that's 140. 150 minus 140 will give us 10. After adding 10, add 0, bring down, we'll have 100 now. 100 divided by 20, it's 5. 5 times 3, that's 100. 100 minus 100, none. Therefore, our answer, 0 0.75. Or if we move it twice to the right, let's move. The decimal place, 1, 2, then we'll get 75 percent and that is our answer for number five easy right now we move on to number seven ayan matatapos na tayo sa wakas Woo. 27 is what percent of 48 so again our digit is 27 is what percent of 48? If you try to look at it, there's no percent symbol. So automatically, we are looking for the rate. Of, that's your base. I already told, told you about the technique when you see the word of. That's your base. And then the other digit, that is your percentage. P divided by B. Substitute P, that's 27. B, that's your 48. Quite a little big. Big number. So, ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin si 27 at ang 48. Okay. To divide that one, 27 divided by 48. Napikinay si Logo kanina. Para sure ako. 27 divided by 48, you get 0. Kasi hindi niya kaya yan. So, we'll put zip. Uh, decimal point, let's add another zero. Now, after having that, number 270 divided by 48, what is the answer there? Pag tinignan natin at nag trial and error ka, you can use 5. 5 times 8, 40. Okay, 4. 4 times 5, 20. Plus 4, 24. 270 minus 240 will get 30. Trial and error to the next digit. Add 0, add 0. Next, we'll have 300 divided by 48. Will give us 6. 6 times 8, 48. Put 4. 6 times 4, 24. 24 plus 4, 28. More to go. Subtract. 300 minus 288. 0 minus 8, that's 2. Pag naging 10 yan, kasi magbabaro. Ito ay magiging 9. Ito ay magiging 2. 9 minus 8, 1. 2 minus 2, that's 0. Add 0. So our next one will have 120. 120 divided by 48 will give us 2. Ang haba. So next. After that, meron na tayong digit na ganito. 2 times 8, 16. Okay, 1. 2 times 4, 8. Plus 1, that's 9. Okay, ituloy ko ang pagsasol dito. 0 will become 10. While 2 will become 1, when borrowed, magiging 11. 10 minus 6 will give us 4. 11 minus 9 will give us 2. Add another 0. Next one, 240 divided by 48. 
Oops, it's easy. It's 5. Kasi nasold na natin kanina. Then we get 240 here. 240 minus 240, that's 0. Therefore, our digit here is 5,625 ten thousands. Now, let's move it with two decimal places to the right. One, two. Therefore, our final answer, 56.25%. Clear? So, for number 7, 27 is what percent of 48? That is how we're going to solve it. Quite a long process, but we need to be very patient in solving it. So, that's how are we going to solve for item number 7. Again, our answer is 56.25%. You need to move two decimal places towards to the right. Do sa makukuha natin sagot. Ayan, last item na tayo. Number 9. Thank you. We move on to number nine. For number nine, it says here, what percent? Of 24 is 0 0.12. Let's look at it. Word of, that's your base. Word is, that's your percentage. What is missing? Rate. R is equals to P divided by B. Substitute. P is 0 0.12 or 12 hundredths. B is 24. Let's divide. 0 0.12 divided by 24. 0 and 24, we cannot have it, so we put 0. 1 divided by 24, we cannot have it, so we put 0. 12 divided by 24, we cannot have it, so we add another 0. We put 0 here. Now we have 120 divided by 4. What do you think is the answer? 120 divided by 4. Is your answer 5? 5 times 4, 10. Carry 1. 5 times 2, 10. Carry 1, 11. Let's have it. Kasi pag nag times tayo, 24 times 5, 2. Sorry, 2 pala yun. 2 times 5, 10, and 120. Correction, 120 siya. Ayan. Ulitin ko po. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2, that's 12. Kaya 120 po yun. So, our answer is 0 0.005 or 5 thousandths. But we need to move it two decimal places towards to the right. 1, 2, hindi umabot. So ang sagot natin ay 0.5%. So that will be our answer for number 9. Bakit 0.5%? Kasi hindi po umabot eh. Oh. Nung minove natin ng 1, 2, nandito po siya. Kaya, ganyan ang kanyang kinilabasan. So, this is our answer for number 9. We have remaining items, and I'm sure you wanted me to answer the problem-solving items doon po sa ating learning task number 4. Don't worry, I will answer it. Gagay ko po kayo. Buburay lang po ni Sir Wilbur. Okay. Pag meron tayong problem solving, we need to apply the same concept of what we have earlier. Para mas maintindihan, isusulat ko yung question. Okay lang ba yun? Pero habang sinusulat ko yung question, i-analyze ninyo kung kapareho ba siya ng mga tinuro ko kanina. Okay? Yung clue words natin. So I'll copy the question. 
Magkukursive na ako, ha? Ang haba ng tanong. Okay. Ang haba ng tanong. In survey, the barangay had a certain number of families and 60% of them are identified and belong to the poor or marginalized marginalized sector. Ayan. If the total families is 150, how many families belong to the poor sector? Pinopya ko lang yung question dito. Ah. Ayan. Huwag niyo po akong babarilin. Pinopya ko lang. Ayan. Now, let's try to understand the question itself. Hanapin natin kung nandyan ba yung PRB. Ang ECS, hanapin yung percent. May percent ba? Kung may percent, opo. Then, you have your rate. This is your rate. Next. Ang susunod na tanong dyan ay, hanapin yung salitang total. Nagbabago pag naging word problem at kapag nahanap yung salitang total, yan ay nangangulugang base. Okay? Hanapin natin na. To the poor or my if the total families is 150 you know if the total families is 150 or yun na yung clue natin so ibig sabihin nun kapag tinignan natin siya may word siyang total ibig sabihin nun madali-dali itong isolve ano ang nawawala percentage P is equals to R times B what's our rate Our rate is 60. 60%. What's our base? Yung total na sinabi niya, 150 times 150. Change 60% to a decimal number para makapag-multiply tayo. 60%. Move to the left. 1, 2 kasi pag decimal. So we have 0 0.6. 0 0.6 times 150. Malalaman natin kung ilan yung poor na tinutukoy nila. So, 150 times 0 0.6. 6 times 0, 0. 6 times 5, 30. Can we? 1 times 6 is 6. Plus 3, that's 9. Next, count the number of decimal places. 1. 1. Therefore, we have 90. Or, in the shortcut method, we have 60% and 150. Cancel out the zero. Cancel, cancel. 6 times 5, 30. 6 times 1, 6 plus 3, 90. 90 is the same. Therefore, even if we have the shortcut or the long cut method, yung total number of families who belong to the poor sector is actually 90 families.
please make sure to put the label. 90 families belong to the poor sector. We need to make sure that we, when we answer a problem-solving item, we need to put a label, properly labeled. Pag nilagay mo lang 90, 90 ano yun? 19 palaka, 19 teacher, 19 na ball pen. We need to analyze the question. So we need to put the proper label. Since the question is, how many families belong to the poor sector? Then our final answer, 90 families belong to the poor sector. And that is our answer. Pakilagay na mga bata, yan ang sagot sa problem solving natin, item number one. So, sulat na po. Now, with item number two, kayo ang sumag-solve. Naalala niyo sabi ko, add numbers lang ang aking isasolve. Kaya, yung number two, practice kayo. I-analyze kung paano isasolve. Tinuro ko yung guide. Pag yung base, hanapin lang yung word na total. Yun yun. Okay? Now, let's move on to item number three. Ayan. Last na. Number three. Basa, basa apa? Tidak masuk lagi. So, punas punas. A passenger bus Okay, for our last item, number three, sabi siguro ng mga nanonood, teka, parang mas mahirap yung number two kasi sa number three. Bakit number three sa solving sir Mark? O oh, yan, number three, a passenger bus can accommodate 66. During pandemic, they reduce their accommodations to 50%. How many passengers can be accommodate by the bus? So if we try to look at it, sa simpleng uh, sense, meron tayong rate, Kasi meron siyang percent sign. At kung titignan natin, yung total number of seats ay 60. Total. So, ito ang base. Ito ang rate. Ano nawawala? Yung percentage. So, gagawin mo lang T is equals to R times V. What's R? 50 percent. Multiplied by the V, which is 60 change 50% to the decimal number or a decimal number. So, 50%. Move natin. 1, 2. Then, you have 0 0.5 times 60. 0 0.5 times 60. O, times natin yan. 5 times 0, 0. 5 times 3. Ah, sorry. 5 times 6, 13. Kung ano na pinagsasabi ko. Count the number of decimals. 1. 1. So, we have 30. In simple sense, we have 
this 36. Bakit 36? Tingnan nyo, kung 60 daw ang mga upuan sa isang bulls, kakalahati mo dahil 50%, di ba obvious na obvious ang kalahati ng 60 ay 30? O bumabalik lang sa sagot? O di ba ang dali? Pero challenging ang question number 2 dahil kinakailangan ninyong pag-isipan to ng mabuti kung paano siya isasolve. There's a need for a combination and a subtraction. So, if ever you have questions in these items, please feel free to chat it down at amin pong ibibigay ang amin buong busay para po maigayad po kayo sa lesson. And with that, I hope sa mga nanonood po ay nakuha po yung lesson natin kung paano po isasolve ang item na ito. Online, gusto niyo bang isolve ko yung number 2? Baka may nagmamakawa, pasolve na rin yung number 2. Overtime na ba tayo? Yes sir, kanina pa. Ah, kanina pa. Overtime na daw kami. So, o yan. So, yung question number 2, hanging na lang natin. Solve ninyo ha, at makikipag-chat ako sa inyo kung ano ang sagot. Ilalagay ko yung solution, ipopost ko sa FB, tignan nga natin kung magkapareho tayo ng answer. And with that, I am your online tutor, Mark, and I hope na ituro ko po ang skill ng percentage, rate, at base. Hihintayin ko ang inyong solution. Again, I'll post it in the FB page of the EdTech Unit kung paano isolve ang question number two doon sa problem solving. Bye-bye! Overtime na daw kami.